hello so we're finally gonna go over my empties for january i know um it is the sixth so we're a little late on that i just had covid um all better now um i have a slight cough even though i'm all better i'm not contagious anymore all that jazz yada 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 i just do so i'm currently hopped up on cough syrup we're gonna film a slightly different location we're at my computer my little gaming nook behind my couch. If you can hear my dishwasher, I apologize. It's really loud and um, our apartment complex has said we can either deal with it or hand wash. So we're dealing with it, you know? Okay, so let's get into my empties. So to start, I only bought two things this month, which is my Ipsy and my Scentbird. So, uh, which the Ipsy is $15.99 a month. Scentbird is $27.99. The total, um, excuse me being $43.98. Finished products for this month. I'm gonna flip up my little thing here so that I can see what I'm doing because I keep it, keep it little binder clip to the page I'm on so I don't have to flip through. The total is $100.84 on what I finished. So I think I did a good job. I finished more than double the value of what I purchased, which great success. Okay, so let's go through in order First thing is Pure Lease. Everything is stacked up in my lap right now, so bear with me. I just wanted to try something new, you know? So this is the uh, Pure Lease Dragon Fruit and Niacinamide Moisturizer. Strengthens, boosts radiance, improves texture. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I really personally enjoyed it a lot. I'm probably going to purchase like a full size of this in the future. This is a deluxe sample size valued at 15 bucks. I went ahead and did the math on it, so yeah liked this. Liked this a lot, actually. Popping that over there on the couch. Okay, so next thing down, soap. This I got from a small vendor at a craft fair. As you can see, it's handmade by the fact that the water made the label bleed at a craft fair back in November. I looked her up. She does not have a website, sadly. Otherwise, I would link that down below because we love supporting small business here. It is vegan hand soap um, in the scent gingerbread. It was so good. It smelled so good. I wish I bought more than one bottle because it is lovely. This was nine bucks, which honestly is not that bad of a price for something that, you know, this big, there's no ounces on it, but big bottle. Um, you know, that's like, what is that? Two bucks more than the Bath and Body Works ones for something that is handmade out of someone's house. That's not terrible, you know? Okay, next thing down the list, sea cream. Yes, vitamin C creams. This is the Ren Clean Skin Radiance Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. So this, uh, as you can see, it is empty, empty. I didn't like the stopper on it, which it had this metal thing that you break off and pop in the top. And, oh, it is not coming out. Uh, so it didn't have like a screw top lid and I hated that because I couldn't put it back in or take it out without launching a bunch of product across the room. Uh, so it was nice, but like, Again, this was another thing I got in a bag. I'm not gonna ever purchase a full size of this because that was, pardon my language here, a bitch and a half to have to deal with and I don't want to deal with that again, you know? This, I did the math, valued, this tiny little bottle, valued at seven bucks. Cause of course what I do is I look up the ounces, uh, milliliters, whatever, of the full size and then I do the math to make that, um, I take the value of that, I divide it by a hundred to get it down to like the smallest thing and then I multiply it by I, don't, I, I do the math between the ounces to figure it out. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a lot of math. So yeah. You're always welcome to double check my work, but there's really no reason because like, this is a rough approximation. I don't believe I'm exact when I do that math, you know? So this is hand sanitizer, cause you know, we've been sick the entire month of January. I'm surprised I didn't finish two bottles of hand sanitizer. Um, Bath and Body Works, pumpkin cupcake. Now with these, I go, dropping shit um i go with the number that is on the back even though i know sometimes that bath and body works regularly increases their prices i always go with the number on the back this is pumpkin cupcake which is one of my favorite fall scents of theirs i currently the most recent time i bought one of their five packs of hand sanitizers was in the fall so we're going to be seeing a lot of fall scents until those are gone just let me pick up what i dropped real quick okay there we go so the next item down is body spray this was when was this purchased it was either purchased in january of 2023 or january of 2022 i don't remember correctly 
if anyone knows the collection, what year this collection came out, feel free to correct me. Uh, this is the Bath & Body Works Peach Prosecco Macaron Body Spray. As you can see, there's this tiny little bit here. It doesn't come out when it gets this low. And I'm not going to go through the hassle of, like, taking the bottle apart and doing all that crap, you know? Uh, I like this. I wish they bring, I hope they bring it back at some point. They currently have not. Um, so the value on this is $16.50 because, like I just said, with the hand sanitizer, I go based on what's on the back, not the current amount they're selling their sprays for. Do they, they sell them for like, what is it, almost 18 bucks now? Something wild, something crazy. Um, but we're going with $16.50 because that's what's here. Okay, next thing, deodorant. Oh, wait, no, not the next thing. We'll do this next. So it's tempered. I finished two of them. We're just going to pick the first one because I don't mark down which one I finished first. That's a glass vial and I just dropped it straight up on the deodorant. We're lucky it didn't break and I didn't have glass all in my lap. This is the Ormond Jane Frangipani. I don't remember if I liked this one. I genuinely don't. It's not focusing. It's not gonna focus. So, you know, whatever. Um, I don't remember if I liked this one. I finished it, but there you go. So I go with the value of $21.95, not half of what I pay for the subscription because on their website, they value these vials, these size, if you want to buy them individually at $21.95. So that's what I value them at, even though I don't pay that much because I pay the $27.99 for two vials a month. I'm gonna go real quick and zip this because my third is killing me. I don't know if you've heard how much scratchier it's gotten with all this talking. Wonderful. This is, um, what kind of tea is this? I think I, I think I made a hibiscus cinnamon tea today. I don't know. It's something that I got in my sips by box. I'm just gonna sip a little bit more of it. And you can tell I've had this mug for a while cause it's gone. It was one of those shower favors um, from my baby shower with my second kid and this was just a leftover one. Was this in a candle? It was from Dollar Tree, so you know. One of those, you bring a box of diapers, you get a prize situations. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so next is deodorant. I go through about a bottle of this deodorant a month. I, I do, I like to keep two on hand. Money was a bit tight this month because we couldn't work due to both of us having COVID. Um, so I haven't bought a replacement bottle yet, but I will be sometime in February. This is the Dove dry spray. This is the coconut one. I always have a bottle of the apple and then I rotate through. And then for the other one, I just grab whatever scent I think piques my interest at the time, be it the pear, be it the cucumber, coconut, you know, there's a bunch of them. Just whichever one I feel like grabbing at the store, you know, 749. I just go with whatever cost it was most recent time I purchased it. Some stores have it for $7.99, some have it for $7.49, some $7.48. It just varies. The store that I purchased it at most recently was $7.49, and I forget whether that was Walmart or Target. There's like a penny difference between the two of them, you know? Okay. Then the last thing is another scent bird. So again, $21.95. This one I did like. This is the Eau de Juice 100% Chilled which I have to buy a full-size bottle of one of these at some point because it is like 50 bucks for a bottle and they look like a juice box. They are so cute. Um, so yeah. So all these items together, let's count how many I finished. One, two, three, four, five. The hand sanitizer ran away. Six, seven, eight. Eight items, right? One, two, three, four, six. yes, eight. I could have just counted on here. I didn't have to lean over and grab every single item, but I did. So you're welcome for that. God damn it. Pick this up. So I finished eight items. They're valued at $100.84. I haven't finished an item yet for February, but I have a body lotion that's just one more use. Just gotta slather up my body one more time, and then it's done, which is awesome, and it is in my favorite. Bath and Body Works sense, so we'll get into having a conversation about that when I do February's empties. Bye!